USB-C versus USB-3 versus Thunderbolt. In this video, we'll be going over all you need to know about these cables and the differences between them. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. The world of technology is ever-changing, and sometimes it can be difficult to keep up with new terminology. The latest USB terminology is no exception here. When people use jargon like USB-C, USB-3 and Thunderbolt, what does it really mean? Let's try to clear up some of the confusion and make sure you stick around till the end because we'll be doing a speed comparison between these three standards as well. But what do the letters and numbers mean? First of all, you need to understand that these terms are not talking about different versions of the same thing. Each one refers to some unique features of the USB, either the speed or the hardware specs. USB connectors have both numbers and letters to describe them. The letters stand for the physical characteristics of the connector. The numbers refer to the technology that moves the data and power from one device to another. The original USB ports, USB-A, used 12 mm wide rectangular connectors. These ports are still standard on most computers and are the ones most people probably envision when they hear the term USB. Even as technology improved the speed of the transfer of data, that connector has stayed the same until recently. USB-C is the latest version of USB hardware available. It no longer uses the 12 mm connector. Instead, it uses an 8.4 mm reversible connector. If you have ever tried to insert a USB-A cord into another device, you may have found that it actually takes several flips to insert it correctly. This is because there is a definite up and down on the cord. USB-C doesn't have that problem because it's reversible with a USB-C connector. You don't have to worry about which way up it is when you insert it. And this is actually really handy. A USB-C cord can supply considerably more power than earlier versions. These cords are also capable of transferring data at high speeds. Another useful feature for some USB-C devices is bi-directional charging, which allows one device to charge another. The numbers associated with USB connectors indicate the speed with which the data is transferred from the device. Each new generation of USB technology allows for faster transfer speeds. USB 3.0 is the third major version of USB for connecting computers and other electronic devices. USB 3 ports on a device are the same as traditional USB 2 ports, but they are colored blue. USB 3 has revised to become USB 3.1 and 3.2. The newest 3.2 generations are Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 2x2. These newer versions are even faster than the original 3.0, which is 10 times faster than USB 2.0. Thunderbolt is not a USB standard. It is an entirely different tool designed for the rapid transfer of data. Intel developed it, and if a company wants to incorporate this technology into their devices, they have to get a certification from Intel. Not every company wants to do that, so this protocol isn't found in many devices. Thunderbolt cords are the same 8.4mm reversible port as USB-C. Thunderbolt 3 ports, cables and gear usually have an arrow shaped like lightning bolt to distinguish them from USB-C. Even though it's not USB, Thunderbolt has a fallback option. If it cannot communicate with a connected device as a Thunderbolt unit, it attempts the transfer using the USB protocol. When using USB, the Thunderbolt 3 port is limited to the connected device's USB speeds, not the much faster rates of Thunderbolt itself. So how about the speed comparison? Well, Thunderbolt is much faster than any of its USB competitors. USB 3.2 Generation 1 only has a transfer rate of 5 gigabits a second Generation 2 has a rate of 10 gigabits a second, and the 2x2 generation has a top speed of 20 gigabits a second, but none of these can compete with the 40 gigabits a second of the Thunderbolt standard. If you're purchasing a new device or computer and want to utilize the high speed transfers that Thunderbolt makes possible, make sure that the device has a USB-C style port labeled with the lightning bolt logo on it. 
Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech-savvy videos. See you next time.